What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here and welcome to the video that a lot of you guys have been asking about. I'm going to put a disclaimer on this video and just say that it's it's really not all that exciting. I'm sure if you've watched all of the other YouTubers, you've seen all the fun stuff that they were able to get, but uh, my journey was a little bit different, so I'll explain it a little bit and then I'll show you guys everything I got. In this video, I'm going to be showing and talking about all of the New York Comic Con shared exclusive pops that I was able to get my hands on this year. All right, so this video is very basic. I actually only have a few things in person because here's the thing. I wasn't planning on hunting in person. I haven't had all that much time, all that much energy to go out in person and hunt for anything in general. And so I made it a point, as I do normally for these cons, to plan out my plan of attack to get everything online. So I will be honest and tell you that a majority of the items that I got were online purchases. I was at work late on Thursday. Well, not that late, but when I realized what time it was, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get home. It was 8.30 when I left work. Literally got home at 8.58, ran into the house, ripped open my laptop, and I wasn't 100% sure what stores were gonna release at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is midnight Eastern Time, and just so happened that it was Hot Topic, what was it, it was Hot Topic, Box Lunch, and GameStop? I think, so it was those three. And I was able, so I had my window open, my browser, I had all the tabs. For Hot Topic, there was only a couple of pops that I was really interested. I was gonna try to get that, um, I don't know, that Dragon Ball Z pop, it was like the ape, was it the ape Vegeta? Uh, just because I knew that it was gonna be hard to get. And even though I don't watch Dragon Ball Z, I actually have a good amount of Dragon, Dragon Ball pops, and they usually uh, have good value. They retain their value really well from what I've noticed. So I went for, there was four. It was, so it was Wonder Woman. I probably should get my phone, but it was Wonder Woman. It was the, was it the, um, the Star Wars, the Star Wars, I don't even know what it was, but it was a Star Wars something, Cody, no, not Cody, I don't know. And then it was the Vegeta, and then the something else. There was one other thing, so there's four pops I was trying to get. And Hot Topic site, can I just tell you, because I haven't really had too much trouble with Hot Topic site, even during these um, releases, their site was bogus this year. It was actually the only, out of all the pops and sites that I wanted to buy, Hot Topic was the one that I didn't buy from because just throughout the entire night, I was just having trouble and then things just started to sell out and then they didn't have them and it was just like, I got so frustrated, but I was able to get the Pizza Planet truck from Box Lunch and then I, at Box, at GameStop, there was two pops that I really wanted and it was the Gold Shuri and the, Korg and Meek Pop. And so when it first went online, I should have known better to know that they weren't gonna sell it right away, but I actually just bought the package deal, that $120 you get everything deal. I did that the last con in the San Diego Comic Con, I bought the whole package. And my at, by this point, my credit card company thought that I, uh, my credit card had gotten stolen. And so my purchase went through, but then the credit card company declined. So I, you know, I told the credit card, like, no, that's me. So I went back on GameStop, and then I ended up getting uh, just two Shuri's and two Korg, Korg and Meeks, because they actually have that sale still, where it's buy three, get one free. So that was cool, it was a surprise. But I also then think that after that, my, my package deal went through, so I might have ended up with a lot of pops from GameStop, but I'm really not quite sure, to be honest. So there was that. Um, after I finished doing that, I was still fresh. I, I literally still tried to purchase on Hot Topic multiple times and it just wasn't working. I was so frustrated with them. I was like, ugh, I can't. I was watching the mega stream that they were doing at the same time on Jetta Patrol's channel, um, just kind of reading the chat and everything. And then uh, at midnight, I stayed up till midnight because I figured there'd be more stores that released. And I think at midnight, Barnes and Noble released and I was able to get Supergirl and Hermione with a with the sorting hat. So that was exciting. I did not, I wish I would have known, like I didn't really think about it, but the Game of Thrones three pack, which is like the creator pack, I, I could have got, I could have purchased it. I just didn't, you know, I was like, no, I don't really want that. And then I realized that it was like kind of a hot commodity and I went back, but it was sold out. So I didn't worry about that too much. What else went on sale at midnight? I wanna say maybe Books A Million. 
I bought something from Books A Million, but I don't even remember. I don't have my phone on me. I don't remember what I got. I got something from Books A Million. Oh, the Brady Bunch set, because I like the Brady Bunch. And then I woke up the next morning. I knew Funko Shop was releasing at 7 a.m. my time, but I just happened to wake up at 6. My alarm went off, and I, I think I went on Instagram, and then everyone was like, no, I just, I didn't even go on Instagram. I just went on the FYE website because it was already on my phone. And then they had opened up all their stuff. So I bought all the cool pops from FYE that I really wanted. It was the Professor Quirrell and CC from New Girl. And I think there was something else, but I don't, I don't remember. See, this is, this is the terrible thing. It's like you just start, I didn't pre-plan well enough. I should have really planned it out where I like had printed out the picture, circled the pops, because when, when push came to shove, I was just so amped up just to make sure I got whatever it is that I thought I wanted that I just kind of sometimes probably end up buying things I didn't need. Um, the other thing, that, oh, the other thing that went on sale at midnight actually was Target. So Target actually went on sale, but they didn't have too many things. It wasn't all of the Target con pops. It was really just... Um, they had some of the Target Comp Pops, so I think they went on sale with Lucy and Monica and some other stuff. Oh, Tom and Jerry, and uh, so I got, I actually got those because I wasn't, pl again, planning on hunting in person. I was really sad that they didn't release the Dino Ultra Zord online because that's the one I really, really wanted to. If we're being honest, like, there was a few pops here and there that I really, really wanted, but the Dino Ultra Zord was, like, the one that I really, really wanted. So then I got my FOE pops. I also got, I didn't get any of the Amazon Pops. I didn't realize that those went on sale at 9 p.m. either, so I missed out on all of those. The one that I really, really want to try to figure out how to get is the Okoye with the removable wig. That's like the one that I'm really gonna probably put down on eBay to get. And then at seven o'clock, Funko Shop went on sale. There was only a few Pops, to be honest, that I wanted, and it's not that I really, really wanted them. I just thought they looked cool. It was the the, what is it, the Hanabara Pops or whatever they call it, like that shark. The shark is the one I really wanted. Um, when it went on sale, I like, was like ready to go and then I saw that they had the package deal. And every time that Funko's ever released like a package deal, I never get it and then I always regret not getting it. So I was like, there was like two seconds and I was like, I don't know, it's in room. So I just bought the package deal so that I didn't have to try to go through and add each pop to the cart because I didn't know how fast they were gonna sell it, which of course they didn't sell it fast. That's what would, of course, happen in that situation. So I got the whole package deal from um, Funko Shop. So then it was like 7.05, and I looked on my phone. You know how they have all the, like, what is it, Brick Seek? And they had the Dino Ultra Zord at a Target close by, and uh, here's, here's the video of this. Oh, okay. I can't zoom in. I can't zoom in. I was like trying to. Before? No? What? Fill me up? You have filmed me before. Yeah. But I didn't know I can't zoom. Oh, there's a 10 inch. Isn't that 10 inch? Yeah. I know. I tried. I was like, no, uh, oh, you can? Oh, this thing. <laughs> Sorry. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Filmer in training. Oh, sorry. Friends. So Monica? Yes, please. Right. I'd be a jerk and ask for a different box. Yeah. I'll do the Venomized Loki and I'll do the. the uh, and then, can I do uh, the Monica? Thanks. Yeah, are you having a YouTube picture on the front? I am. Yeah, I thought so. How are you? I'm um, tired. How are you? <laughs> I know. We're, I heard you guys were going all the way around. Did you get everything you wanted, though, is the question. Yes. What's the business card? I know. That's what he gave me. I was like, ah, can all, I get another all, one? All I know. Those 10 inch. But I'm excited. This, because I got some online, but they didn't have all of we them. Our, so We got our uh, Cheetahs online. Oh, nice. Nice. Cool. Well, I didn't know you were local. <laughs> I am. Yeah, I am. This is very my. Very local. Very local. Okay, so Dana came and met me as a good friend because she saw my my picture on Instagram yeah. <laughs> and uh, and then she wanted Starbucks so I said okay I still think people are probably mad because they probably thought that she cut it in line but she didn't buy anything just yeah. so everyone knows okay so as you can see I ended up getting out of the house like rushing out of the house I got to Target at 715 and at 715 there was 
like four or five people in front of me in line. And I was like, oh, that's kind of surprising. Uh, I didn't know how many Dino Ultras they were going to have because I didn't look at the other app that I usually look at. So I waited in line. Dana ended up joining me. Um, just so you guys know, I'm going to say this again because I don't want people to think like she came late and cut it. But like, by 740, there was hell of people in line because they all had come from a different Target and they came to that Target. And uh, so they all got there. There was a ton of people in line. Dana came and just basically filmed for me. So when I went to that Target, I was able to get a few pops. So I got this Flock Blue from Tailspin. I'm not collecting Tailspin Pops, although I think I actually have a few of these, surprisingly. I think I have Louie, and I think I might have Sheer Khan. I don't know, but this is a Flock Pop, and you guys know I like Flock Pops. So I didn't even know, honestly, I wasn't super prepared to even know that they had this, but I saw it at the register, and I was like, oh, I'll get one of those. This technically is not an NYCC exclusive. These are for the, we'll call this the Target Con Pops. Um, I also got a Black and White Lucy. I did buy one of these online, but you know how sometimes you just never know online what kind of condition they're going to come in. Figured I'd get an extra one of those. I was able to get the Venomized Loki. That was one that they did not release online, so I was really excited to get this one. And he came in great condition as well. Show you that. I guess I'm weirdly collecting the Venomized Pops. I wasn't going to, and then I don't know what happened. Then I also got this Monica Geller. Now, I bought a Monica Geller online as well because this is one of the ones I really wanted. I don't know if this got damaged in my car, this was technically the last one that they had, and then I realized that after I bought this one, they, they went to the back and got another box full. So this one's not in the best condition box-wise. You can kind of see, I don't know if you can see the damage on the flaps inside, and there's actually a torn corner on the other side. But, like I said, I bought this online, so I'm hoping that the online ones maybe show up in really great condition, and then I don't have to care. I probably won't care anyways. I just think she's like, you guys know I like when pops have weird heads. I'm gonna think about that. But let's go ahead and, and take a look at this. This is a pretty amazing pop. I'm surprised. I, I can't imagine that she is going to stand up on her own because her body is so skinny and this head is like giant. Wow, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. I honestly didn't think that was going to be able to stand up. Wow. That's so interesting. Okay, so those were the smaller pops I got. Again, these are none of these were, they only had one shared exclusive pop, I think. It was, I forgot what it was. It was like a robot looking guy. I didn't get him. What I really came for was the Dino Ultra Zord, but then I found out that they also had our 10 inch Niffler. Now I apologize because the glare is awful right now. I don't know what's going on, but we got our 10 inch Niffler oversized pop. You guys know I like. I like fake Nifflers, but I don't like Nifflers in real life. <laughs> I still can't believe I said that. So this guy is very heavy, and he's really cool. He's holding a pocket watch, as you know. He's from the uh, new uh, Crimes of Grindelwald set. So I was really excited to get him. But we all know why I went to Target, and it was for this guy. Now, again, these are both part of the... Uh, Target Con, they're not, they weren't anything having to do with NYCC. This is the guy that I have been waiting for since they showed that they were gonna release him at Target. I was like, I have to make sure I get him. He is so heavy. He's way heavier than the Niffler. And I'll tell you a little story, which hopefully won't surprise you guys. After I went to that Target, I ended up going to work. On my way into work, I stopped by Barnes & Noble because I had purchased a Supergirl and the Hermione again online, but I wanted to see if they had any of the Game of Thrones uh, creator set. They did not, they were sold out. So I left there and went to a different Target. And by this point it was like 9.40. Target usually opens at eight. I walked into that Target and when I, as I was walking towards the toy section where, or the electronic section where they put the pops, two people, two Target employees had these giant carts and they were full of Dino Ultra Lords, Nifflers, Hulks, the 10 inch, um, all of the, all of these pop, every single pop. There were so many. I was like, wait, what? Can I get some of those? And they were like, yeah, because at the first Target, you can only buy one of each thing. But I, of course, wanted to try to get two Dino Ultra Zords so that I could um, take one out of the box. And so they were like, yeah, you can take whatever you want. So I went there and I ended up getting an extra Dino Ultra Zord. And then they actually had brand new Hulk Ragnarok. Now I already have this one, but I only had one and it was like one that I just happened to stumble upon. And this one, you know, they just had it there and I was like, okay, they're really, really hard to find. So I got that 
And then um, I found this in the toy section and I just, I don't know what happened. I probably did not need to buy this because this was quite expensive, but I just thought it looked so cool. So this is um, from the company Tokyo Vinyl and then something Nerdist. And this is the Mighty Morphin Megazord, but it's like a blue, it just looks very cartoonish and then it's like blue and red. There was just something about this that I absolutely loved and I don't usually collect random toys. You know I mostly collect Funko Pops and then I have like Q-Fix and stuff, but this guy was like super cool. I just had to get him. But why don't we go ahead and take our Dino Ultra Zord out of the box. This is the one. Um, this box is actually not in terrible condition, but he fell over in my car and the plastic got pretty dented. So the other one that I had, all of the 10 inch ones is hard because the boxes are just like corrugated cardboard. Like these ones are different because they're thinner. The corrugated cardboard's a lot easier to damage. And so it's a little harder to get away with not having like a ton of nicks and dings on the box. I have not seen this guy outside of the box and I'm so excited. So, obviously this was a terrible video to show you all the New York Comic Con pops I got because I, I didn't even, I don't think I even show, oh, you know what, I forgot to show you. Oops. Um, and you'll see this in a little bit, I, or you'll see it in my vlog. I went to, um, I went to Box Lunch. If you guys follow me on Instagram, um, yesterday morning Box Lunch posted that they had the Venomized Hulk pop, which I really wanted. So I got out of bed and went to the mall, and then on my way out after I was done, I stopped by Hot Topic, and they still had some of their SDCC exclusives. Now, they had a ton of Wonder Woman, but they were all in terrible condition, and this one's not in the best condition. There's actually a lot of bulging, but there's no creases, which means I could potentially take everything out and flatten the box, and I think it would be fine. But this pop, I'm not gonna lie, they still had it online, but just as a jerk move for me, cause I was like, no, Hot Topic, your website was terrible. I didn't buy it. I saw this in person, and I was like, oh, I'm glad that I bumped into it. Cause this is actually a really, really, really cool pop. It's the one that I really wanted from Hot Topic and the box and everything about it is just like so cool. So I'm really glad I was able to find that. You'll also see that again in my haul video. So I showed you one SDCC pop, that's good. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. He is so heavy. He is so heavy. I love this pop. This is so cool. Now, they've been coming out with some really cool 10 inch pops. I like this pop a lot. I still think that probably Porg and or T-Rex are my favorite just because they're a little bit more like not life size, but obviously not life size, but just, I don't know. But this guy is so cool. I'm really excited I got him, his head turns. This is so cool. And it is actually very detailed. If you look closely at it, it actually has really, really, really good detail, especially for a 10 inch pop, which sometimes I feel like they're kind of like, not simple. Like this is not a simple 10 inch pop. You know all the other ones are like, I feel like they're all fairly simple. Like Porg is fairly simple, right? This guy is not simple at all. And he's very heavy, he's so heavy. My, my hand's gonna get sore. Okay, so that was my New York Comic Con story. Again, I this is not a good video and I apologize. I was gonna just wait until I got all of, I should've just made this a Target Con video. That's my bad. Eventually all of my Comic Con pops that I ordered online will come in and I'll probably save them all together and open them again. But um, I just wanted to give you guys, a lot of you guys have been asking me what I got and if I was able to get everything I wanted. And I would say for the most part, yes. There's a few things like the Amazon pops that I wasn't able to get. But for the most part, I think I did pretty good this year on getting all the things that I specifically like told myself that I really wanted. But we'll see when they all come in, how, you know, if they came in good condition. And yeah, I'm just excited for them. Anyways. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you wanna see more unboxing videos, go ahead and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let us know down below if you were able to get any of these Target Con Pops and or what uh, New York Comic Con Pops did you get? And was your Target crazy? Let us know down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you will make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. I don't have my phone on me, so I'm just gonna do one by memory and I'm gonna give it to Stuart Glover. Stuart!
and Finn. You guys give the video a shout out. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. Like, for reals though, thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. Uh, you guys have been on here for a little bit now, and I just super appreciate your support your support. You comment every single day and I love waking up and reading your comments and I love all the fun, um, all of the fun Twitter videos. Uh, well, technically they're YouTube videos, but you know, you know what I mean, um, that you guys have been sending me for your unboxing videos. I love them. Love them so much. So Stuart and Finn, I want to give you guys the video shout out. Shout out to you, Stuart and Finn. Shout out to you. All right, guys. I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.